He has practiced the secret and all but forbidden rites of the sacred mushroom for decades. The magic mushroom has mystified mankind. This 1961 documentary took program makers to the farthest corners of Mexico to question native shaman about the fungi's telepathic powers. <laughs> This remains unproven, but there's no doubt about the mushroom's mind-altering properties. Recreational drug users have been tripping on magic mushrooms for decades, even though it's now a Class A drug. But it's claimed the psilocybin compound that gives these mushrooms hallucinogenic powers can be used to treat depression. We thought people see hallucinations and see colored lights that the brain would be turned on, but it was turned off. And that was remarkable. And, and what was particularly fascinating was a part of the brain which we know is overactive in depression was actually turned off by psilocybin. Professor Nutt is no stranger to controversy. He was sacked as the government's chief drugs advisor for arguing LSD was less dangerous than alcohol and calling for cannabis to be decriminalized. He is also highly critical of laws delaying his psilocybin trials. The European regulations are arbitrary and excessive for this kind of research. They really inhibit European research into innovative treatment. Erica Rex survived breast cancer, but the treatment came at a cost. It sent her into a deep depression that, in her own words, left her looking for ways to kill herself. The search for answers led her to an American clinical trial testing psilocybin. Cancer patients, most of us, tend to fixate on our cancer, well, even if our prognosis is good. Am I going to get better? Am I going to get worse? Am I going to have a recurrence? How is it going to be next year? I'm scared of my mammogram. Whatever it is, it's very hard to get out of that. And psilocybin, unlike any other drug available, it comes in from an angle, like it's like a vector, and suddenly we're able to look in another direction. Perhaps the sacred mushroom has given them a psychic insight. Erica Rex's case is proof for researchers arguing the case for the psychedelic fungi. For her and Professor Nutt, there's no magic in the mushroom. It is just science. Ashish Joshi Sky News.